from 2013. Obama's abysmal foreign policy of dithering and bombing dropping has resulted in a world where al-Qaeda, whom he claimed defeated prior to the last election as he blamed Benghazi and a Coptic filmmaker he knew wasn't the cause, has not been defeated but may be resurgent. An al-Qaeda affiliate attack on a shopping mall in Kenya is a kind of circle where al-Qaeda had blown up an embassy while Clinton was president. Kenyans are not especially anti-Islamic, but that isn't the problem with terrorists. At least 30 people have died and over 200 injured. Australians know of the terrorist group. Their affiliates planned a hit on Holsworthy Army Barracks a few years ago. Obama's dithering and bombing isn't limited to world peace. An Israeli IDF soldier was murdered by a relative of a captured terrorist. Obama threatens the economy. A spoof is circulating that Obama had to be sedated. That last item has a crack force of Obama supporters working the internet correcting the meme. But it is so believable. Although Biden, as VP, means it isn't desirable. Meanwhile, in China, a top party official has been sentenced to life for corruption. In Australia, the ALP are trying to adjust to life out of government without recognising they lost an election. Two prospective leaders are campaigning on not changing policy or direction as a form of renewal. Recycling apparently means never having to wash dishes, which may be why they are so keen to have women in politics. Julie Bishop is a very impressive woman, writes Miranda Devine, and the ALP lament there are not enough after they slammed Sophia Mirabella. Meanwhile, New South Wales state ALP and Love Media are assaulting Prue Goward for being responsible when the previous ALP minister hadn't been. Mud sticks. And the ABC and Sydney Morning Herald are suffering with circulation. Another media beat-up involved an Australian ALP government assault on a mixed Australian-Italian family. According to the ALP posters, denial works. Fifteen seats were saved by an inept prime minister who replaced an inept PM. It is a dangerous message for an ALP seeking to reform. That's it for today. If you come by this video at a later date and you like it, like it. Also, feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.